In this meal prep episode, we're making roasted cauliflower taco bowls. These are super easy to put together. They're cheap and taste absolutely incredible. And we're also making a coriander lime sauce. We'll start off by making the sauce. So in a bowl, add one whole egg, 10 grams of Dijon mustard or American mustard, and 15 milliliters of white vinegar. We're then going to use a damp tea towel and create a ring or a nest so that the bowl can fit gently in it. And this will just prevent it from wobbling around everywhere. With the bowl securely in place, get in there with a whisk and mix to combine just until everything is evenly combined. And then we're going to slowly pour in 200 milliliters of any neutral flavored oil whilst vigorously whisking. And this is going to create an emulsion or a thick base mayonnaise, which we can add all sorts of different ingredients to. I usually do this with an immersion blender, but I think it's about time I show you how to do it by hand. Once that's done and you have a sauce that looks like this, and if you dip your finger in it, coats it really well, we can then add in the rest of the ingredients. As for the rest of the ingredients, we do need 10 grams of coriander or cilantro. This can just be given a quick rough chop just to break it down, and this is going to mix really well with the mayonnaise. One lime is also needed. I am going to quickly just roll it on the chopping board. This is going to produce more juice. Then we're going to slice this in half and then just juice it on a citrus juicer or by hand, whatever you have. And there's no seeds in this, so you don't really have to worry. Now to the mayonnaise, add in 50 grams of sour cream. This is going to create a nice little acidic touch. Obviously add in all of that coriander that we just chopped and the lime juice as well, just to create a nice little bit of acidity, sea salt flakes to taste and cracked black pepper. 10 cracks worth. Once that's all done, give this another quick mix with a whisk or fork or whatever you have just until evenly combined. Then we can portion this out into five little containers and this is about 80 milliliters worth, place on the lids and these will last up to five days in the fridge. Also, this is all of the nutritional values for this. I know it is quite high. You don't have to use this. That's why I put this in the nutrition card and I'll leave a few details about this in the description below. Now with that out the way, we can then prepare the rest of the ingredients and this is one whole cauliflower. We're just going to run a knife around the core to remove the florets. And if you've seen my previous videos with the broccoli, this is just the exactly the same process. If not, welcome to the channel. Please do not throw away the core. We're going to be using this as well. And then we're just gonna go through, just checking the florets to make sure that they're all that same size. If they're not, just trim them up just to make sure that they are. And this way they'll cook at the same rate. If not, you'll just have hard ones and soft ones and it's not gonna be a nice texture. With the stems, remove any woody ends. You don't wanna eat this part. And then we're just gonna trim this up, making sure that it's the same size as the florets. And this contains a lot of fiber and it has fantastic flavor, which you would have seen me do with the broccoli. It is really sweet as well. Let's then add the florets and stems to a large mixing bowl and follow that up with four grams of both smoked paprika and ground cumin. This is going to add an earthy warmth and warm peppery notes. One gram of dried oregano and red chili powder. The red chili powder is optional and the oregano is going to add a minty freshness. Loop this up with 50 milliliters of olive oil. That's going to get things moving around. Then season to taste with sea salt flakes and cracked black pepper. 20 cracks worth. Get your hands in there nice and deep like and massage those herbs and spices into the cauliflower, making sure everything is evenly combined. And obviously that olive oil was coating everything. This way it will make sure everything cooks evenly. Transfer over to a lined baking tray. Then we can spread this out, making sure everything's evenly spread. This will make it cook even better. Then transfer to a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius and cook for 30 to 35 minutes or until charred and soft. Now in the meantime, place a large saucepan over a high heat, add in 300 grams of washed basmati rice and follow that up with 600 milliliters of cold water. That's a two to one ratio. Season to taste with sea salt flakes and then just give this a quick mix to prevent any clumps and bring it to a boil. Once at a boil, reduce the heat to low, then place on a lid and cook this for 14 minutes undisturbed. With the rice and cauliflower on the go, we're going to need one can of corn kernels and one can of black beans. Both of these can be popped open and you can use fresh corn for this, which I'll leave details about in the description. But we're going to drain both of these through a sieve. And with the corn, you don't have to wash it. But with the black beans, I recommend rinsing off the moisture that it comes in. With that done, we're just going to let these drain for the time being until we're ready to serve. And as for the corn, place a large pan or a nonstick pan over a medium high heat add in the corn as well as a little drizzle of olive oil i added in one teaspoon's worth and then fry this off mixing it around regularly for about four minutes just until it's lightly charred and this is going to create a beautiful caramelization flavor it is really easy to do obviously you can use fresh corn if you want but it is just as easy and a lot cheaper to do with canned corn Going back to the rice, this has been 14 minutes. Turn it off the heat, but leave the lid on for a final four minutes, then remove the lid. And this can just be fluffed up with a fork or spatula just to create that beautiful, soft, fluffy rice. Then remove and just pop aside for the time being. The cauliflower's been roasting away for about 35 minutes at this stage. It is looking beautifully golden. It's got a nice caramelization color on it and it's nice and soft, but still a little bit al dente with that nice little bite. 
As for serving up, just make sure you portion everything by five. There isn't any particular way you have to do this. I like to place in the rice first, then follow it up with the cauliflower the charred corn and the black beans and I'm also going to garnish this with some spring onion which I just had left over in the fridge so you really don't have to use it as well as coriander or cilantro. What we're then left with is these absolutely delicious roasted cauliflower taco bowls that were super easy to make. Place on the lid and place in the fridge for up to five days and in the freezer for up to four months. As for the nutrition cards, I've included it with the sauce and without, so you can decide what you want to do, and I'll leave a few details about that in the description. But as for serving, just pour over that sauce, obviously, if you're using it, mix it around, and of course, we can then dig in. That is absolutely incredible, and it's a lot different to what we usually do on the channel. I know I've been doing chicken quite a lot recently, but it's only due to the fact that it's a lot cheaper than other proteins and some vegetables. The cauliflower on this is absolutely incredible. It's super tender, and there's so much flavor from those herbs and spices. You've got that caramelization on the corn, obviously the back beans and rice. Overall, this is a perfect combination, and I really hope you enjoy it.